We covered some of the basic settings when we installed EDD, but there's actually another page of general settings that's a little tucked away. If we go to downloads, settings, and then miscellaneous, we can see some useful options. The first one on this tab, redirect to checkout. This setting lets you redirect the checkout when you add something to your cart. This is really useful when you only have one product. Or if you have more than one product, but people tend to only buy one product at a time. Just save them the step and take them straight to the checkout. The next setting lets you buy multiples of products. With digital goods, you don't normally need this, but sometimes you can buy multiple of things. Like if you're buying credit on the site to use at a later date, you'll want people to be able to buy multiple quantities of that. And this last setting here lets you remove all of the EDD data on uninstall. Nice for nerds like myself, who want a really clean database, but not so useful for someone else. Let's take a look at some of the checkout settings. The first one is actually the most interesting, force SSL on checkout. Many gateways require SSL on checkout, but not all hosts are great at helping you set up SSL for the whole site. If you can set up the whole site to use SSL, then this setting will be useful. It will force checkout to run an SSL, so you won't have any security issues there. Require login can be good to give your store an exclusive feel, but I generally use a membership plugin like Restrict Content Pro instead of this functionality here. And then you can show a registration form for your site, but again, that's usually best handled by another plugin unless you're doing something really custom. This setting here is useful if you're going to be creating lots of different coupons, which we'll cover in an upcoming video. And cart saving can be very good for considered purchases or purchases that go through many people like enterprise sales. We've already talked about the add to cart text that you can find on this page right here. There are a couple other buttons, but we're not going to take a look at them because they're pretty niche. We're going to look at file downloads in an upcoming video because it's a topic all on its own. Let's take a look at the accounting settings. I'm actually a big fan of these and I recommend you turn them on, especially sequential order numbers. Go ahead and start all of your orders at order number one or order number 10 if you want. And then I definitely recommend adding your prefix. You may not need it right now, but if you ever have multiple stores, it'll be really convenient to understand support requests and other customer communication if you can differentiate between the stores using a prefix. So for our store red 30, Let's just call it red and let's go ahead and save changes. And I do want to point out that you may notice a notification at the top of the page. You have to run a process in the background to update all of your previous orders with this new format. So make sure you do this so that all future orders will be correct. There we go. Those are just some of the hidden features in the settings area. We'll look at more in upcoming videos.